Good morning, guys. Ryan here from Elite Automotive Diagnostics. Uh, I posted up yesterday a Volkswagen Golf I had in with an injector fault um, and how we use pressure pulse to identify what cylinder it was that was actually misfiring. So here we have the waveform. I've copied it into uh, Word because, uh, sorry, into Paints because it's easier to annotate. Uh, so what I want to show you is. So if I pull up the uh, the overlay chart, basically what we need to work out is how how this picture gets on the screen. Okay, so from this point here, this red marker and this red marker here, this is actually our injector firing event. So this is our injector firing event for cylinder three. Um, as you can see here, I've written one three four two. So between these two points, this must be 720 degrees. Yeah, because we've got one firing event here, another firing event here. So that's the cranks rotated two times and we have two firing events. So we split it up into four different cylinders. So one, three, four, two. The reason this cylinder is number one and not cylinder three is because cylinder three exhaust event, remember we're measuring exhaust, so we're measuring exhaust pressure, not compression. So cylinder three exhaust vent happens typically 180 degrees after the firing event uh, compression or the injector firing event. So as you can see, this is actually cylinder three, not cylinder three here. So using our overlay chart, this does it basically for us. So our cylinder is 1342, that's our firing order. We're synced to cylinder 3 using an amps clamp on the injector, measuring um, injector current. As you can see, cylinder 3 is on power. So cylinder 3, power, because we we know it's on power because the injector is firing at that event, close enough to top dead center. That denotes cylinder 1 is on exhaust. So we go back to our image and we put a 1 there. We then go back to our... Uh, overlay and then we just fire in the rest of them as you can see three four two so then three four two as you can see cylinder two looks if you look at these see they're nice I'd say even-ish peaks and valleys yeah and then you have this huge peak and this and then back to little valleys again yeah okay so what's happening here is what Brandon was trying to say is when a good cylinder has combustion and compression and it doesn't misfire it produces pressure okay and they're fairly even pressure uh, this one is probably because of the way the engine is actually running uh, but what happens is when you have a, when you have a misfiring cylinder the pressure is negative inside the cylinder when it's released into the exhaust tailpipe so as you can see here it actually has a bigger pull than all the rest on the misfiring cylinder rather than a nice size push. Now this, sh this, this here is an effect of this here. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we go back to the Pico scope a minute. So we're running live on Pico. Here I have a pressure pulse sensor. Okay, all we're gonna do is I'm going to apply pressure to it. So I'm gonna blow into it, okay? When I blow into it, I will show you what happens. It's a slingshot effect, and this is how the waveform appears on the screen. So here we go. Do you see, if I can just pause that, Matt. Do you see how it goes positive and then it goes negative? So if we go back to our waveform, this one here, goes negative loads, yeah? It's got a huge negative pull to it. The prob uh, sorry, huge negative pull. Therefore, the actual um, slingshot effect is, mag is magnified. Therefore, you can see a huge uh, increase in pressure. It's not an increase in pressure, it's how the sensor works. It's a delta type sensor, so that's how it's designed to work. So this actually isn't a huge increase in pressure, it's just a bigger pull on the exhaust, unlike these ones. Again, you're looking down here, this area here. Okay, guys, so that's, that's basically what you're looking at for. Um, 